not unique. And oftentimes it is viewed as one that is unique. It's as a result of slavery. It's actually a phenomenon that actually began in Africa, and not, again, the region was, was dispersed, so not all parts of the region endured this, but there was definitely women in Africa who actually in charge of their own household, and this was just a continuation of that. So, the view of the debilitating female supremacy was in fact a closer approximation to a healthy sexual equality and socioeconomic and political parity that was and still is difficult for whites and perhaps even for postmodern black women to accept. And by that statement, what I mean is that women within the confines of Africa chose to be a linkage to whether it was within their family, whether it was within their state. And within the confines of slavery, again, we had women who were actually able to choose the way that they wanted to be with. They did not necessarily have the choice in terms of whether they married them or not. And also with reference to working, because in the Haiti society, we are aware that some slaves actually work outside of their master's plantain. Because I was told by a person recently talking about um, women's suffrage and feminist movement for black women. But maybe we need to redefine the question in terms of advocating to try to get this parity with reference to uh, race and our identity. But look back to the past and try to reinvent who we are because it has already existed and it's already been there for us. Resistance and rebellion. With slave, slave women, were very assisting to the control of masses, and something that began on the African coast. Contrary to many, slaves had women, high propensity of women, actually had more of of men. However, again, because of how history is written, women are given mere associated more revolts and actually were in a desire to be free as opposed to more of their men. And of course, once we come over to the Western world, we do realize that it's more than a part of new Africans as opposed to those who have realized into the system of slavery. But again, women played a very active role in rebellion. We tend to think that they are passive, but unable to react, unable to search on that freedom, but that is um, contrary. Um, with reference to women, it's different from those of men. Most women have to think of family. So the desire to be free was not only for herself, but also for her family. And the aspect of slavery and the aspect of woman was completely different from that of a man, in that women were used for production and reproduction. The offspring of a woman, or children, sorry, automatically became a slave, unlike men. So even though you had to endure the hardships of working in the plantation, there was also sexual exploitation. And so that in itself defines a story of being different from the story of the male slave. There were individual and collective escapes. And oftentimes, we tend to think that slavery in the Bahamas was not bad or is not as labor intensive. But advertisements from the Royal Gazette in the Bahamas indicate that many women actually attempted slavery by, I'm sorry, attempted escape by themselves and collectively. <coughs> For one example, Mr. Hall stated all Nazis vessels are cautioned for taking her off the island. Because with the advent of the American Revolution, we actually had free blacks in the region who had access to ships. And many women actually, through use of their sexuality, used that as a means to escape with many of these men. Again, Morrison, a slave, initially lose herself in the job that she, she was, which was a washer and iron. And it was very common for women to, in addition to running away, also having to maintain themselves. So again, if you look at this, the multiple role, many women, many persons tend to think, is it possible for women to actually mastermind and escape? Yes, it actually was possible. We are that smart and actually can do that. So many of them actually mastermind escape, but escape was just one part of the puzzle. Once I have escaped, what do I do? How do I maintain my freedom? Again, some of them use their profession. Others may have used prostitution. And interestingly to note, the term prostitution was not used within any of the texts. And again, it's because of the historical <coughs> and textual um, period in which we were relating to slavery. I'm sorry, the word prostitution would have been considered immoral to actually use that word. But we would suggest as well as that some women actually use that as a means to maintain their freedom. With reference to like and men, were severely punished in the Bahamas. And this, again, is an area that we often tend to not really focus on heavily because we tend to think that slavery was not really bad in the Bahamas. 
But any person that is forced to perform tasks that they would not necessarily. But again, from the period that we were looking at, it was often legal for masters to, whether they were black or white, to actually punish their slaves and there was nothing considered wrong with it because you were the property belonging to someone else and at that person's will. Chloe and her family were captured and were sold as a family to live in the South Point of Phuket Island. Within the Bahamas, most persons tasked were assigned individual. So, Phuket Island was one of the few places where we actually had gang laborers as a place like Jamaica, which is about 50 to 100 slaves actually working together collectively. Within the Bahamas, most slaves tend to be put to work individually as a task or assigned in that manner. But on Phuket Island, we actually had gangs of persons, maybe about 20 slaves, working together. This hill is considered a, one of the coolest forms of slavery in the Bahamas because the conditions under which salt is made, heat, would actually be considered very, very cool for any family to be, have been sent to Phuket Island. Further punishment for Chloe would have been that her husband would have actually been separated from her for periods of time. So as a family, they may have been sold together, but the underlined issues with separation a harder labor actually meant that slave owners in the Bahamas themselves tended to be cruel. And interestingly to note, the slave owner was Mr. Wiley, who was considered one of the more kind of slave owners in the Bahamas. Gender and slave lives. Men and women shared very similar experiences. Some of those would include the fact that there was no legal ability to control the conditions of their lives. Both labored according to their master's demands. Both were vulnerable to brutal punishment and separation of families. Both had marginal food and clothing. And both were part of a productive system that generated profits for the master. However, women, they are, were able, we were able to manipulate them in terms of production, reproduction. And this came to overshadow the role of women within this society. Because again, going back, our counterparts in Europe were considered pious. The hierarchy, if you were at the top of that hierarchy, there were certain tasks that you did not perform. You did not take care of your children yourself. If you were pregnant, then of course, you were considered to be in a very delicate state. Whereas women during slavery, whether you were pregnant or not, you had to go into the field. If you were pregnant, you were not given any time off. And you could not hold out on, like today, we hold out on the government, we sit in because we choose not to work. But during slavery, after you had your children, you had to go right back into the field. So being able to live within those conditions makes the experience of a woman completely different from that of a man. Being able to have children, being able to go out and work, being able to manage your home means that her lives and her experiences were completely different from her counterpart. And again, this is something that has not really been explored because within the literature, again, it was not written from a woman's perspective and it wasn't intended to be written from that perspective. So from what we are able to gather as researchers and within the contextual and historical presence that it occurs, try to elucid what it was like for these women and how does it relate to what uh, the perspectives that we have now as modern day women. So with modern day interpretations, so, so, so far I've looked at the role of women in terms of their work. Again, it was similar to men. There was no 